Hello people from Sonland. Welcome to our channel. You know already it's the channel where we present th things that we really like. So, today another episode for um, the metal song with uh, symphonic elements. You know what it's about. We've already presented the drums, the, the bass, guitars. Uh, and remain for today, for this episode, um, the symphonic elements or the symphonic instruments, as you wish. Today we're gonna discuss about uh, strings, cello, uh, horns, flute, and it's a pad. I name it pad, it's somehow like a uh, affix, but let's say it's a pad. Before uh, get in the subject, I want to uh, thank again to our sponsor, CMC Web and Audio Production Company. Uh, and also I want to inform you that comes uh, next week another episode with Jochen. Uh, we're going to present another uh, interesting uh, gears or instruments or thing like this. So. As I've told you for today, we're gonna start with uh, symphonic uh, things. <clears throat> and we have here the first element. As you see, it's about, uh, it's about the strings. I named uh, cinematic strings. We've used here in our studio uh, native instruments. To unbelievable software. I saw a lot of debates about uh, which one is better. Um, there are a lot of other uh, companies, a lot of other uh, instruments, virtual instruments on the market. But for us, native instrument instruments is uh, quite a good uh, software uh, and also a huge it have a huge uh, database sound database we have the um, biggest uh, libraries yeah we have the the uh, biggest uh, model let's say of this software with a full library um, and that's why we use it or I use it as much as I can. What is here? We have the action strings. I select this, the action strings. And uh, very fast through complete control, let's see the setup. We have a master two that is a um, master. Okay, it's named like this. It's just a general um, a queue that have a little bit uh, more open air and I don't know. Yeah, it's an a queue that open a little bit more the, the sound uh, here. Then the dynamic with boost. It's like a compression, maybe also a little bit maximizer. And the position is far of the mic. The position of the mic that means uh, there are the mics that are far from the stage are not close to the instruments like a decatry or something else a microphone far um, away from the instrument why this because we want to have uh, huge strings yeah there are not small here directly in your face there are a huge ensemble of the strings uh, they're gonna uh, support, they're gonna make support for all the other instruments. <clears throat> the reverb, it's a concert hall to give more natural uh, feeling uh, with an amount, let's say, in half. I don't wanna say to you minus 23 uh, decibel because it's not relevant for um, this uh, scale, but for you to understand, it's in half somehow. Yeah. Reverb, uh, reverb on. That's it. The rest, uh, how these uh, strings are working or how these strings are created, it's also not relevant because uh, it's different from a song to another. It's different from 
uh, conception for to another yeah but in our song and here now i'm gonna let you hear a little bit complete song yeah with the whole instruments and then i'm gonna select just the strings to see uh, to hear for you to hear the uh, how this instrument comes in the mix Okay, it comes also in the final part of the song. Okay, here, in the first part. What we have here in the first part, let's listen. I forget to tell you, and it's I think it's somehow important to know from the beginning. Uh, we've applied already an equalizer over for this channel. And also these uh, strings are sent in a reverb group or FX channel. And we're gonna see why, yeah? For more space, I want to have this uh, strings, as I've told you, somehow big, huge. Okay. And they are sounding like this. part it's quite easy and repeating uh, there are action strings it's very easy to imagine an action movie and they sound somehow the same um, without why the reverb so let's see what's happened with and without reverb. The reverb channel is here, yeah? Uh, sorry. Okay. I think it's obvious. I think it's obvious, we don't need too much explanation for this. It's a matter of uh, space. It's a matter of space, it's a matter of making, creating a bigger space. Yeah? Distance also. As I've told you, it's not a, an instrument that comes close in your face. And I'm tempted to show you how they fit with other elements, like drum for example let's make this let's take this uh, test yeah together drum and uh, strings Okay, hope it's clear. Let's move fast to cello. So, cello, 
the same native instrument module here it's a basic rhythm slow i've choose from the palette of sounds or samples of uh, native instrument from cello the same uh, master eq2 this uh, little bit open eq uh, dynamic boost in this case cello it's a close microphone for the for the cellos i've used the stage microphone that is close because uh, i want to have it more uh, with more contour cello with the um, range of the frequencies that it have um, could be lost in a crowded mix and we have here guitars we have the bass um, it comes also um, trombone um, horn can be lost that's why for this instrument i want to have more contour also as you see here where the um, reverb is it's not too much it's to 10 o'clock yeah exist for a little bit space but not so much because we don't need uh, we, we want this uh, instrument close and cello sound alone like this I didn't told you and I want to show you the cello have no send to reverb it is a equalizer here for sure up the highs up yeah we've cut a lot here in 351 it was a resonant that doesn't fit with the bass and a complete cut under 109 um, hertz we here are frequencies that we really don't need because uh, goes over the bass frequencies and we don't need it but important without uh, reverb send and it sound like this yeah and then continue like this this is the tema of the cello is just a support with the drum together and strings and let me open the bass also it's important it's important to see how it fit with the bass As you hear, uh, cello here is not a, a solo instrument, it's just a support instrument. That's why it's important to be there. I don't want to have it uh, too much in front, but also I don't want to uh, have it in space because then it disappears. You don't know, you have no contour and you cannot identify it. And it's important because uh, here the cello have also um, somehow a rhythm task yeah because of this um, um, segments that it have it's like also completing uh, a complete to the rhythm okay let's go further 
Let's close the base. Closing the strings. I gonna make a jump to the flutes directly. Let's see. Why to the flutes? Because the flutes have also a support role. Have a role, a supportive role. Um, the IQ looks like this. I felt a little bit uh, here a lack of uh, presence and also um, air. That's why I improve it without reverb. It have a his uh, its own reverb. And the instrument is here. Also native instruments for sure. The mixer looks like this. So we have just the stereo mics in front of the stage. Yeah, the stereo mics. The other one are closed. The far, the mid and the close are closed. It's just the stereo mic used. Uh, the, the equalizer is in 12, let's say, in default. Here, uh, the reverb here, yeah, it's in 12 with the cathedral reverb and the size moderate, yeah. Compressor in default, the filter, it's this cutoff and resonance, there are not. Uh, but it's very easy to see here they are not selected yeah it's nothing selected so this is the section the flute section and it sound like this it's just support also it's a harmonic support they form a harmonic support sorry Sorry, the flutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so using a diminish and augmented just to give this um, feeling of tension in the whole uh, song. How it sound with the other ones? Let's try first with uh, what we have here with the horn, but the horn we didn't present it, so let's get to the horn and then we, we can listen together because this is just support here yeah the flute that's why the horns the horns are very important in this uh, song because they create the uh, main tema and the instruments the instrument the instrument uh, look like this no sorry let me select the horn. Here comes the horn. Um, all all the all the uh, microphones, all the microphones are selected. The stereo, the close one, the mid one, mid distance, yeah, and far, but in a, a different um, proportion. Most of the stereo uh, is used here, and. As you see, just the reverb it's involved with an amount of, let's say, 11 and a moderate uh, size. Also a cathedral, yeah? Cathedral uh, reverb. And the instrument have a dynamic fix. But this, here uh, on this uh, screen, of the native instruments is just a matter of um, wish. How do you want to have the instrument? Which kind of dynamics? Which kind of articulation? Uh, 
it's not important if I present you here what's happened because it's different from song to song, from composition to composition. Important is here what I've done in the mix with this mic because as I've told you, it's the main theme of the song and that's right. Um, also, this horn have no uh, the scent, as, I've, as you see here, it's no scent to reverb. It's just its own reverb involved and a little bit uh, air just to cut through the mix. And the tema of this instrument, it's like this. And now with the flute, and you're gonna understand <laughs> why the flutes are composed like this. What is interesting here is to understand how they are working with the guitars. <clears throat> and why I've chosen, and I repeat here, why I've chosen this uh, sound of the guitar, this thin sound of the guitar. It's not a huge, it's not a big uh, metal or not big rock, how do you want to say guitar? It's thinner than normal. But I've done this especially to let space for the other instruments, because even if this song is a metal song, um, surprise, guitar is not the main instrument. I prefer here to have these symphonic instruments like um, the instrument, the instruments that gives the, the harmony, that gives the main theme, the harmony and the thing like this. But Interesting, because uh, guitar here became a, somehow a um, rhythm instrument, and let's see, let's hear how it works with uh, uh, flute and uh, horns. Yeah, it's like this. The last element, we have a pad. <coughs> and the pad sound like this. very easy. This alarm sound that put pressure, more pressure with a flute together, um, giving this uh, feeling of um, how it names uh, stress and uh, danger. Yeah, these are the instruments, the, the instruments with um, created with the nat native instruments. So virtual instruments, um, all together combined with um, drum, bass, guitars, um, create the rhythm and the, the harmony <coughs> of the song. 
And now, knowing all this, okay, there are some, um, uh, also there are some, um, um, here, for example, we, in the um, horns, there are some uh, automation, but just volume, nothing special, it's depending on the mix, depending in the mix if you need the instrument louder or not. That's why I consider it's not uh, interesting or important for you to lose time with this uh, automation because it's your decision in your mix if you're going to use automation and if you need more or less um, volume. It's, it's just like this. I use nothing else uh, to affect the sound. The sound. Um, that's why. Here, the pad it's finished also, and we can listen, selecting the whole uh, orchestration, selecting time to time uh, instruments in some areas for determine how it uh, goes in the song, how it it is involved in the song. That's why. Okay, <coughs> now <coughs> if you are wondering 
what kind of process I've used for all this in, in the bus, <coughs> in the main bus. Let's see very fast what is about. <coughs> so we have here this uh, group named All. In this group comes all these instruments. And when it's gonna be the voice over, uh, for sure the voice comes also, the group of the voice comes also here in this uh, final bus, mix bus. And here is just from Slate Digital, you know, our beloved company for plugins. Um, we have this um, compressor and we've used or I use most of the time this preset, the CLA Rock. It's the best. With an auto release, this auto release make the um, cream of the cream. Unbelievable compressor for uh, <coughs> final touch. And I, most of the time I use this in the mix bus for um, gluing all together. <coughs> in the stereo bus, it's something like uh, mastering. And let me be clear. It's not a mastering. Mastering for me, if you if we talk about mastering, mastering, it's a process that could be done just in a specialized mastering studio. Forget about and I don't want to hear anymore about mastering uh, done at uh, in a home studio or in a mixing studio or in a software in a door. Forget about. Mastering it's mastering. Mastering can be done, a real mastering. It's finishing a real mastering studio with a real mastering engineer, which is prepared for this task, for mastering. Also the room for mastering need to be a special room, a neutral one, a flat one response. Forget about uh, mastering in a studio which is not uh, built for this. Stop. I, I, I need to address to my colleagues in this world. Dear uh, mixing guy, stop lying your clients that you are doing mastering on your door in a computer with a Cubase or a Pro Tools. Or stop lying your clients that you are doing a professional mastering. You are just trying to improve the sound. You are just trying to make it bigger and, uh, I don't know, to give them an idea of what mastering could do, but it's not a mastering. So stop it. That's right. Now, after I've told you which is my uh, opinion about this, let's see what I put here in the stereo bus. Uh, I've done this just to have an idea how it comes when the mastering gonna be done but for sure it's not a mastering and I, I, I don't want to say it's a finish because it comes the voice also uh, and when the voice gonna be uh, finished this material it goes in um, uh, United States to a friend of us for a mastering in a real uh, mastering studio but for you to understand how we've how we work here, I've used for this style, for this song, I use um, another very nice things comes from Slate Digital. In this case, we have, and let me show you, this multipass from kilohertz it's a um, uh, it's part of this kilohertz is part of the old um, uh, bundle from uh, uh, Steven Slate and we use here the multipass with this preset plastic distortion and let me show you how it sound let's select a part of the song doesn't matter where
Yeah, it's a fast way to have the song a little bit improve with, um, as you hear in this example, um, air, punch, a little bit uh, in uh, um, low end, yeah, improving the low end, like a mastering need to be. But as I've told you, uh, is not um, proper mastering. And also, um, this is just for me, okay, in this case for you also to have an idea how it comes to the final uh, song after the mastering. Okay, so what else? Also from uh, Slate, we have the Slate Digital FGX which is a mastering compression, mastering limiter compression. Also here using the Stevens, this uh, smooth mastering, Stevens mastering smooth, a preset, and then choose the volume as much as we need or we want or it sound. Just easy here for me to have an idea how the song gonna be to the end. In the in the EQ of uh, the stereo bus, I've cut everything under 30 hertz, just to get rid of rumble and thing like this. Yeah, the EQ have just this cut under 30 hertz, and that's it. For the moment, this song is finished. I present you everything that I consider it's important um, to be presented to understand how it works the mix with a, a metal band let's say and some symphonic elements this is just the first song 101 it's the name of the song produced by um, <coughs> CMC web and audio production um, for Crisis, Crisis is uh, my own brand for uh, composing uh, and uh, orchestrating, yeah, orchestration and uh, composing. And comes the new episode with another song from the same series. As I've told you, it's gonna be in this springtime um, an EP with four or five songs, all the same style the same combination, uh, metal and symphonic, and the next one, it's part of this EP. But you're gonna see wh what is about. Also, you're gonna see uh, what is about next week, um, Sunday or Monday, maybe, the other Monday, um, in a new episode with Johan, presenting interesting gears for all the lover of music and the lovers of making music most of the time. Uh, instruments, gears, devices, things like this. But for the moment, let's close this chapter with a um, 101 metal song with symphonic elements. People from Soundland, thank you for following us. Please subscribe, N never forget, subscribe. And also uh, press the notification button. We need it. It's very important uh, for us. Thank you to CMC Web and Audio Production being our sponsor. And see you next time. Never forget to mix the things that you really like. Because we present here just the thing that we really like. <laughs>